All right, all right. Everyone start to shut up. I have some news today that is gonna make you guys so happy. You're gonna teach us biology? <laughs> nice, Sarika. No, guys, be serious, come on. Teach you biology. Put them down. Look, I realize you guys are all nerds and you want good GPAs, right? Is that what's going on here? I'll make you a deal. If you tell anybody I'm not teaching you biology, you get an F. If you keep your mouth shut, you get an A+. Plus. You know what? Line up with your books over here. Come on, line up with your books. Let's go. Now, you see all these open windows? Anybody want to guess what happens next? Mr. Griffin, we can't throw out our books. What about the AP test? Oh, can we not throw out the books? Let's go. Toss them, guys. Toss them. The fetal pigs are here. We've already paired up, and we'll dissect them really quietly. We wouldn't even have to do anything. Absolutely not. You guys are not doing a lab in my class. But we've been good little angels. Admit it was you, or your bio textbook gets it. Huh. Fine. Guess we'll never know the definition of heterozygous advantage. Redacted. I don't know anything! You know everything! So we started talking about planting Miles' DNA at a crime scene, but then we realized we weren't really positive what qualifies as a DNA sample. You're gonna want blood, semen, hair, and saliva. That's your bread and butter. Oh, and feces. And it's considered such strong evidence that it can put people away for life. I'm liking what I'm hearing, guys. Well, buckle up. <laughs> Tell him, bro. If his DNA is found at a crime scene, a lab will compare it to a reference sample, checking for any matching alleles. And here's where it gets dope. If the alleles on the chromosome are the same, they're homozygous. As opposed to heterozygous. No! Oh, oh I'm such a fool. You're doing this to learn biology. You don't give a damn about destroying my rival. <laughs> we just thought it would help to have a basic understanding of DNA. It's in saliva and it makes people go to jail. That's all you need to know. Nope, uh-uh. Shut it down, shut it all down right now. Whatever biology you're studying back there, it's done, okay? Back to the Miles missions. As we said, this is both. I think you'll be pleased with this. I got a lock of Miles' hair, boss. And a little child shall lead them. These are the AP bio practice exams. Yeah, well, Sarika, you don't really need to practice for something you're never gonna do. Maybe you could explain the dissection using more standard scientific biological terms. You're right, Sarika, of course. Thank you. Uh, Behold, the adrenal glands. The part of the endocrine system responsible for producing various hormones, uh, cortisol, adrenaline, etc. Now, here we find them on the cephalic end of the kidneys instead of on top, which is what we would observe in humans. I never said I didn't know biology. I'm just never gonna teach it to you. Hey, uh, have you guys seen my iPad? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what I say. <laughs> Yo, JG, you got a funny looking spleen, man. No offense. I think I found the heart. Girl, that's a bladder. How would we know? We never learned biology. I have to go. Does anyone know where this goes? I'll make room for it. A little bit more. Oh! Just about. Hey, hey, Durbin, Helen, yeah, uh, yeah come on in. Um, so, yeah, as you guys can see, standing up on something flexes the tibialis anterior muscle, which stabilizes the leg and the foot. Oh! oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we'll just make this quick. Yeah. We are looking for. Uh...